What's up, guys? It's John from Titan. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just wearing John from Titan's hat, but I'm Sharice from Titan. I figured I would do a live as I was living in the moment of my wonderful I story today because I want to share this story of today with you guys because I'm very upset about what's taken place with today's story. Okay. Now, all of you guys have known out there, and I do feel weird with this hat on, but I'm just turned to the side a little bit. It's only because I haven't washed my hair in like 500 years. So I feel super greasy and gross. So I'm not just, just, we'll just turn to the side. What up, Jeff? Anyways, so what had happened was, is I went to the ophthalmologist. I told you guys I went to the ophthalmologist. I had some scratches, scratches on my cornea, okay? They gave me these drops. I went four weeks ago. My eye has been hurting me. Now guys, those of you that know, I mean, I'm the owner of a business. I am constantly on my phone. I'm constantly checking emails, constantly checking text messages, constantly on my computer. So that means that I constantly have to be reading things. So if my eyes do not work, we're going to have a problem. May day. Okay. So, so we go to the doctor ophthalmologist. I'm not going to say the doctor's office because I am a business owner and I don't feel right about blasting a doctor's office on here. Do I think that it's the right thing to do to call this office on Monday to blast their ass myself? Absolutely. So I will be doing that on Monday. I'm very good at that. So Anyways, I go in, you have scratches on your cornea. Here's some, you know, eye drops. I'm going to give you this, this, that, and the other. So I take it. I put in my eyes. <sighs> Doesn't feel any better. I take those drops, lubricating drops. Okay, your eyes look dry. I don't know why they're dry, but they look dry. And this is what's going on. All right, so I take these other drops, put them in, put them in, put them in, put them in. It looks like somebody took a rake and literally raked your cornea. I'm like, okay. They said, do, do you, I so feel weird with this hat. We're gonna put it to the side. Okay, now I feel better. All right, anyways. So, <laughs> John's sitting in the kitchen. He's like, what are you doing with my hat? So anyways, um, so basically, so we went ahead and we got some more drops, long story short. And it's just, it's, it's very upsetting because I, I'm kind of relating some of what I went through with my eyes because I don't do eyes, right? Like we're not in the eye business, okay? We're not ophthalmologists. We don't do eyes. We do hormone replacement therapy. We do medical weight loss. We do anti-aging. Hi, baby. Hi, Nicole. We do everything else to make you feel good, look good, you know, that kind of thing. We don't do ophthalmology where you go into the eyes and pull these things eyes like these eye problems out and, you know, make sure that the eyes are okay. Now you go to your doctor. I have said this on multiple occasions where you go to the doctor and you go to the doctor with something called blind faith. Blind faith is where you walk into the doctor's office and you're going to your doctor. Justin, I definitely want you to stay on for this because I have a shout out for you. So. You go into the doctor's office with something called blind faith, okay? And with that blind faith, you go in, okay, this is the doctor. They know what they're talking about. I'm going to listen to what the doctor has to say, right? Because the doctor knows what they're talking about. So I'm going to listen what they have to say. So you listen what they have to say when really what they have to say is not what should be going down, okay? So, in my particular scenario, I had scratches on my cornea, get these drops, didn't get any better, go back to the doctor again. I ended up seeing a different doctor because my schedule is absolutely insane. So I had to go see a different doctor in the same practice. And they gave me another drop. Hey, listen, your eyes look really, really dry. And we think that this is what's going on and you got to really lubricate your eyes and we're going to give you another drop that has some, you know, steroids in it, that kind of stuff. Okay. So who did I get on the phone? This guy named Justin. 
Justin Holt, Dr. Holt. He happens to be a very good friend of mine. He's also an ophthalmologist in state of whatever the hell. I don't even know right now because I'm like extra tired. <laughs> so I get him on the phone because I do trust his opinion. Thank you, Dr. Holt. And I'm like, listen, dude, like I'm going four weeks now. My eye hurts. I'm getting extensive headaches. This shit is not cool. I'm not okay with this. I'm like, I can't even, like, I literally can't even have John, like, like bring up the blanket and like, like put the blanket over himself without me like almost crying in pain. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm just being a baby or what it is, but I'm a fucking soldier. So I'm like, I know I'm not being a baby. Okay, I'm not being a baby. So then he comes to tell me like, hey, listen, you know, there might be some other things that they're not looking at. So he kind of gave me the rundown last night. Thank you, Justin. And he gave me a little bit of uh, insight. And he's like, you know, did they put a bandage on it? Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so moving on to today. I go into a guy's office who is a very, 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 very dear friend of mine. Um, his name is Dr. Larry Parrish. Okay, Dr. Larry Parrish and Dave Parrish are two very, very special people in the Titan Medical Center history. And the reason why they're so special in the Titan Medical Center history is because these are the two people that allowed us to rent out the space in their back office when we didn't have the money to actually have a doctor's office. So when we only had $2,000 to start a practice, and it was just me, John, and a doctor, and that's all we had, and we had to rent the space by the day, or should I say, by the half day, and that's all we could afford at the time, these are the people that allowed us to do it. So essentially, I probably should have went to this guy first. I didn't do that because I'm stupid. Honestly, I just didn't want to bother him with it. But I, he has been in the, I mean, this guy's been an ophthalmologist forever. So I don't know why I just didn't go to him first. So anyways, I go to him. He takes a look at my eye. Literally, he tells me, he's like, listen. He's like, I'm glad you came today because you know what? I'm going to tell you something. He's like, it looks like you're about to have some ulcerations on your cornea because either A, with one of two things is happening. Either A, you're going into a very deep sleep and your eyes are rolling into the back of your head and a little tiny bit of your eyes are like opening where it's opening to like the actual air and it's getting super dry. Or B, you're not sleeping with a shit and your eyes are opening. <laughs> Same thing. And your, your, your corneas are going to shit. <laughs> so either way you look at it, he did me a solid because I told Justin what was going on. Justin said, hey, listen, they better put a Band-Aid on this thing. So the, he did put a little, you know, contact lens in here, which I can't say is the best feeling ever because I've never worn contact lenses. So I can't say it feels awesome. It does feel better than it did before. I can say that. But I am happy that I did have a good friend of mine named Justin that was able to help guide me to tell me what to do to get some of my eye problems taken care of. But my whole point to this, I'll take this off because it has bothered me now. But my whole point to this is the blind faith thing. And I guess the whole blind faith thing is really bothering me because, you know, in our particular industry, you go to people in whatever, I don't care whatever problem you have, right? Whether it's with your, like in my particular situation, like, you know, my eyes, okay? Or let's just say that you have low testosterone, okay? You go to somebody, you have low testosterone. Low testosterone, you have your scale. For a guy, the scale is from, let's just round it off. It's from 300 to 900. You come back at 350. The guy tells you you're totally fine and sends you on your way with an antidepressant and some Viagra. That's not the answer. You know what I mean? It's not the answer. So, I mean, it's, it kind of sucks. Like, this blind faith thing, it, it's, it, it's kind of shitty. You know, the blind faith thing, you have, to, you have to believe in your doctor. And sometimes you just, I don't know, I, I guess I, <sighs> I, I honestly, guys, I wish I could, I wish I had an answer to tell you before I actually got on here to express my, like, my emotions and my feelings to you guys about this because I'm really upset that I've went four weeks 
with my eye being in like excruciating pain and not being able to see things and like literally having a headache for like almost four weeks straight because I've had this like scratch or whatever the hell is going on. But it's like, you go to the doctor and it's like, that's their specialty. So that's what they do. They're going to fix it. So you do what they tell you to do. That goes for OBGYNs. That goes for, you know, pediatric doctors. They tell you, hey, listen, your kid's got to go and they got to they gotta get this immunization. They need this immunization. They need that. You're going to do what your pediatrician tells you to do. You know, it's... Um, it's, I don't know. I mean, I've been in the medical industry for almost 15 years. And, you know, I've never seen such misguidance in, like, so many years. Because I've actually trusted the doctors that I've worked with because I've worked side by side. And I've seen them do such a good job and seen them help so many people over such a period of time. Even in nephrology, when I worked in dialysis, I've seen them help people over a period of time. I mean, so... I don't know. It's a blind faith. You know, you go into the doctor's office and hope that they're going to help you and hope that, that what they're saying is the right thing. But I can't always say that that's what's the right thing to do, you know? So I am going to give a shout out to Justin Holt for giving me some guidance on my bandage contact lens here. Um, hopefully it'll, I know it's going to make it feel a little bit better because it's already feeling better. Thank you. Um, and then, you know, hopefully get a little bit of, uh, lubricating drops in there. And then they actually do have almost like a PRP type of deal where they draw your blood and they take the serum and then they put the serum and some teardrop stuff and take the teardrops and you put them in those and you put that in your eye and that goes into your cornea and it revitalizes your cornea and got new corneas. I mean, hell, it's 2019, about to be 2020. I would hope I'd be able to buy a new cornea. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to go black market and get it. India, you can get a 5G. Yeah, we could totally go to India and get it for like $4,000, maybe $3,000. <laughs> you want to say hi? No, John doesn't want to say hi. He's still sick. Now Peter's sick. Peter was home from school today, sick. Poor kid. And now John's dad is sick. So, everybody's sick in the house. Should be a fun weekend of holy sickness. Lots of ludens and lots of Tylenol and lots of antibiotics. Should be a great time this weekend. What's up, Tina? Finally, you did what I said. Oh my God, shut up, Justin. Yes, I did what you said, finally. What's up, John Socorus? That's what Jeff... Jeff Culp says, he said, what up, what up, what up? Like he said it like this. He's in it. Yeah, see? Look, see? So what's up, what's up? So what's up? What's up, guys? How are you guys doing? See, I'm shirtless. I know I'm going to get thrown in the bus for this point. So, what's up? This is John, up? John for Titan. Yeah, this is John for Titan, guys. How are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. He's shirtless. How dare John go on live with shirtless? This is my life, damn it. I do what the hell right? I want on my live. Yeah. This is not Titan's live. This is Sharice's live. Do what you want. <laughs> I do what I want. When I want. How I want. The soapbox. This is my soapbox. You don't like it? Get off. Have you guys shut out the shirt kidding. yet? <laughs> Oh, yeah, you want to see the cool shirt that he's not wearing? So I know Casey, then we're getting him on the way. Angela, tight and strong in the back. Hi, Jen. alternative. Hi, Jenny. Tight loyalty. Oh, yeah. Hey, Steph. See, I do have a shot. Shredded. He's shredded. Dude, how the frick, man? Will you please, Jeff, when we like, when we like hang up on this thing. I'm on the Jeff Cole diet. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, I'll see cookies by your truly. <laughs> I ain't had treats. What is that cookie? On, that cookie's on testosterone. That's a design program. <laughs> Why is that cookie so big? You put. The oh oh my god. Do you guys see that cookie? For real, guys, this is real life, okay? I'm That's not me. like. It's not like. Toll House. It's not staged. It's Toll House cookies that John cooked. <laughs> And he put two teaspoonfuls in there. And it's a big-ass cookie. 
And he's got three of them on his plate. Oh, my God. Jeff, do me the biggest favor ever. Like, I'll love you forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Can you please, please text John? He's going upstairs now. Can you please text John? He's been sick for a whole week, and he has not been able to go to the gym. And he's like, okay. Now he's 10 pounds, like, like 10 pounds lighter. And he's, like, having a heart attack about it. Will you please text him and be like, damn, bro, you mad shredded. You look mad good. Will you please tell him that? Please. It'll mean so much to me. <laughs> What's up? Four weeks, third round of antibiotics. Yeah, fucking double ear infect. Oh my God, dude. I am so sorry you're sick, dude. It is going around. What's up, Kevin? Are you in Africa yet, man? I am never going to go to Africa, just so you know that. But I hope that Africa is nice, and we are going to bring you from Africa to America. <laughs> What's up, Angela? How are you guys? Jeff, please do me that favor. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, anyways, guys, I am just telling you about my wonderful story about my eyeball and my blind faith and how pissed off I am at beep, beep, beep clinic and, um, beep, beep, beep doctors. And, um, I will go ahead and we'll leave that out because it's very unprofessional to talk poorly about another clinic, even though they suck. And um, I will address that with them on Monday. Now, you never want me to address anything with you, especially on a Monday. So with that being said, let's hope that this contact lens bandage thingy majiggy stays in all weekend and that I have a wonderful weekend with my little bandage, bandage eyeball, okay? And uh, I love all of you. I hope all of you have a wonderful Friday night. If you're watching this on Saturday because you didn't get to see it on Friday, hope all of you have a wonderful weekend. And, um, yeah, hopefully I get to come wash my hair, you know, <laughs> since I only get to wash it, like, <laughs> once a week. <laughs> so cute, yeah. Mm. Scratch cornea, <laughs> yeah. It's not a scratch cornea. It's called sleeping with my eyes half open and them not telling me that it's sleeping with my eyes half open. And them treating me for a scratch cornea. Girl. Mm. I'm about to go buy the goggles. There's a the goggles that they have. And they have these goggles that are like hyper chamber, whatever the hell goggles. And they, uh, they use it for patients that have like COPD machines. And it dries out their corneas really, really bad. But I don't know. Like, I mean... I don't know how cute I would look like waking up in the morning, having like goggles on my face and being like, hey, John, how cute am I? <laughs> guys, you guys got to see Peter, though, because he's sick and I feel so bad. I do feel bad for him. You guys want to say hi? You been home from school? Oh, what's wrong? I'm dizzy. I had a headache when I woke up at 6. Uh, I couldn't move because I worked out with one of my trainers in my um, stomach area, so I barely could get up. So it was hard. Aww. Well, his Applebee's is almost here from Uber Eats. Everything's going to be okay. Yes. It's actually what I came over here for. It's actually going to be showing up here any moment. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyways, so that's Peter. He's been home this 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 wonderful day of ours. As I was getting my wonderful bandage of my oh, look. Oh my goodness, it's your Applebee's. You should go get it. Go get your Applebee's. Go run. Hurry, run. Run. Applebee's is waiting your love at the door. Yes, guys, I am constantly like this. This is not fake. All right, anyways, I got to go because I am going to go and make Peter his Applebee's and cut it up in little tiny pieces so he can eat it with a sore throat. Wow, these animals are super late. You guys are deaf. The animals are deaf. I mean, they're like super deaf. You guys are deaf. These guys, these animals are no good. No good.
You guys are like three minutes late on the doorbell. I mean, jeez. If we were going to get killed, we'd be dead. So much for the animals. Get rid of the dogs. That's it. That's your dog, too, that you want to clone so badly. I do want to clone my dog. Anyways, <laughs> all right, guys. You guys have had enough of my Friday night. I love you, Chrissy. Jeff, I love you. I'm going to see you Tuesday. You know what that's all about. And then Angela, sending my love. Nicole, Manny says he's coming by. I hope Manny comes by. I would love to give him a big hug. And I miss you too, Nicole. Matthew, I love you. Sending my love, 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 love. Steph, you got a package in the mail on the way. So let me know when you get that. Coffee and dry shampoo. Ew. I know. How about a blanket and a pillow? Yep, I'm going to go do that right now. Blanket, pillow, Netflix, and lubricating drops for my corneal band-aid. Cute. Super cute. See you guys later. Bye.